Welcome to the Manifestation Bay podcast. My name is Katherine Zinkina, and I'm a manifestation expert, master mindset coach, and multiple seven-figure entrepreneur. I'm obsessed with helping you achieve everything that you once thought was impossible. If you're looking to massively up-level your life, your finances, your relationships, your productivity and success, then you have come to the right place. My goal in this podcast is to help you see the infinite potential within yourself to be, do, and have anything that your heart desires. Think of this podcast as your weekly dose of mindset development to help you maximize who you are and where you're going. Leave it to me to provide you with the tools, the resources, the strategies, and teachings that you need to manifest a reality wilder than your wildest dreams. I know we're about to have so much fun together, so thank you so much for pushing play today, and now let's begin. Hello, my gorgeous souls, and welcome back to the Manifestation Bay podcast. I'm so excited to be here on a sunny day, finally. I feel like it's been so cloudy and so rainy the last week in Scottsdale, where it's like, yo, I moved to Arizona for the sun, where's the sun, and it's finally here. So with that being said, I'm in a great mood because yes, <laughs> I'm one of those people that just naturally brightens up when the sun comes out. Are you like that too? I swear, like I feel like only the most sane humans are like that. <laughs> I know a few people who love cloudy weather and I just will never understand you, but that's okay. There's something for all of us, right? There's a weather for all of us. Um, Okay, so today I want to talk about um, why your success depends on the algorithm, but it's not the algorithm that you think. And this is a conversation. I'm not answering any questions today. This is a conversation that was sparked and inspired by a coaching session that I had yesterday that I figured I'd put on the podcast just because it's such a great metaphor and a great way of thinking about manifestation in this way. So before I get into it, I just want to quickly share that this is going to be the last reminder to get inside of Sovereign Money if you feel called to join it. This is my money manifestation program. That is officially closing before the next podcast episode goes out next week. So I want to make sure that you know that I'm not going to be mentioning it next week. And if you want to get into this round, this is your opportunity to do so. This is my program where I'm teaching you everything that I know on money manifestation. So if you love my money content, you're going to get more than you ever think you're going to get in this program. I'm going to give you everything I know on money manifestation, on making money a consistent, pleasurable, and fun experience in your life and clearing all the limiting beliefs and triggers and past pains and traumas and dramas that come with money that are preventing you from making the kind of money that you so, so deeply desire. And in this program, I'm going to show you, I'm going to, I'm going to empower you to realize that you get to decide how your financial reality gets to look. Like you literally get to manifest it on your command. Money manifestation gets to be something that comes down to and boils down to a decision that you make around this is how much I want, and this is the way that I want it to feel. I was going to say how it's going to come, but that defeats the purpose of manifestation. <laughs> so it's how how much you want and how you want it to feel, because it's just as important for it to feel really good and to feel pleasurable and to feel joyful and to feel good and to feel consistent and to feel easy instead of, you know, hard and like hard work and you know, hustling for it, which money can come through those avenues, but I don't think you're coming into sovereign money because you want to work harder. (laughs) I think you want to work smarter, not harder. Um, You want to be a genius, okay? You don't want to work hard for the sake of it because money doesn't even, money's not even related to effort in the first place. It's not related to hard work. It's not related to the time you spend on something. It comes down to and boils down to your frequency and your vibration. And that's what we're raising to the highest degree. Like if you loved my episode on the financial thermostat, the money thermostat, 
and your keeping frequency and your holding frequency and your earning frequency and all that stuff, like this is where we're going to put that thermostat at a thousand fucking degrees. Okay. And you're going to, and, and not like, don't think of it in terms of actual temperature, like thousand degrees does not sound like fun, but in the financial world, yes, so much fun. So last reminder, go to manifestationbabe.com slash SM. That's manifestationbabe.com slash S as in sovereign, M as in money. I'm keeping it super simple and easy. And then you can also get the link in the show notes as well. Okay. So this episode was inspired by a conversation that I had with my coach and mentor, Andrea Crowder, who I've been working with for the last 18 months straight and seeing every, almost every single week. Um, Sometimes I'm like, yo, I'm in a creative flow, don't need anything. And sometimes I'm like, yo, can I get an extra call this week? Um, Love her to death. We always joke that we're in a coaching marriage. And also I do have a ring from her. She bought me a ring for my birthday. It's a diamond ring with, um, it's like a gold, gold band with three diamonds that represent Orion's belt for my son, Orion. And we joke that we're in a coaching marriage. We're still going to be together 18 years from now. And when Orion decides to grow up and leave his home and leave his nest, I will need her advice because that's something that she's currently going through. And so I'm counting on her to coach me through that too. (laughs) Okay, so with every launch, every business event, every thing in life in general, um, you know, the universe delivers us reflections, reflections of where we're still playing small, reflections of our belief systems that aren't in alignment, aren't in resonance with the goals that we have for ourselves. And so I'm currently in my launch for Sovereign Money. And we decided to go down a list yesterday in our coaching session around just any of the beliefs that I still have that could stand in the way of me attracting the amount of students that I wanted to attract into this upcoming round of Sovereign Money. And we were just spitballing some beliefs that were coming up and reframing things and talking things through. And then, of course, it ended with like the deepest childhood memory rewiring of my life, um, which was amazing. And one of the conversations that we had yesterday really inspired this episode because it's a metaphor that I want to share with you, too. And this is going to be just I'm trying to make this as short as possible, just a short, sweet, fun little episode where you can really take this with you and just put it to the test yourself and see manifestation in a more, I want to say relatable, just because we can all relate to the social media algorithm. I feel like the way that you found me probably is through social media or maybe a podcast algorithm, right? Like there's, we all deal with algorithms every single day. So I feel like this metaphor is going to be so useful for you because when you go around putting things out into the universe, this metaphor is really going to ask you to stop and to check in with yourself and to pause and ask yourself, is this something that I want returned back to me? Do I really want my life to be rearranged according to this thought or this belief or this feeling or this perspective or this way of looking at things or this decision that I'm making? So one of the beliefs that we worked through yesterday was my frustration, I guess, with the social media algorithm, specifically Instagram algorithm, and how I was worried that it would get in the way of people seeing my posts and learning about my program. And this has been a theme before where, though it didn't affect sales, meaning that I attracted more students than my goal, that was set for my program, like, for example, Manifestation Babe Academy, when I would launch that, super successful launches. But there would still be a slew of students who would come up to me, well, not come up to me physically, but (laughs) DM me and email me and leave comments like, oh my God, I had no idea you were launching. What the fuck? I missed another launch. Are you kidding me? I've been setting my sights on joining this program and I knew that you were going to launch soon and I didn't see any of your content around it. So I missed it. 
And I'm like, what the fuck? You know, so that was being projected onto this launch where I got sucked into the belief that the amount of students that I want aren't possible because the algorithm was going to hide it all anyway. And that's where we reframed it in the best way possible that opened me up to believing and knowing that, yes, there's an algorithm that my success is dependent upon, but it's not the one that I think. There's an algorithm of all algorithms. There's an algorithm that owns Instagram's algorithm that came from this algorithm. And that's the quantum field algorithm the universal algorithm, the only algorithm that your success actually depends on, the one that actually owns the other algorithms and influences them far more than any human or AI powered algorithm. And that's the quantum field. And so how does this algorithm work? How can we use this algorithm? How did reframing it into this metaphor really help me? Well, let's think about how a social media algorithm works. When you go on social media, the algorithm is studying you. It's watching you, kind of like, I don't know, some creepy big brother way, I guess, where it's trying to figure out who you are and what you like and what you're interested in. And it will give you more of who you like and what you're interested in and what you want to see on your social media pages. So it learns about you through the interactions that you have on the platform. So the more that you double tap on something and the more that you comment on something, the more that you engage with someone or follow certain people, the more you're going to see them show up on your feed. And the less you engage with someone or the less that you comment on something, the less that you like something, the less that you pay attention to something, the less that your feed is going to show that. And it might take some time for the algorithm to learn more about you. But as time goes on, your algorithm, essentially, it's almost like your phone is listening to your conversations, which I'm not here to say it doesn't or does. (laughs) Like we can go down that conspiracy rabbit hole for sure. Sometimes I totally believe that it's listening to me, but you guys get, you guys know what I mean. Like it just feels like this platform really knows you and you get literally what you put into it. And with the quantum field, it works the exact same way. Your thoughts that you put out into the world around what is possible for you and what you believe gets to happen to you is what is reflected back to you. The more that you engage with certain conversations, um, that you engage with certain content in your life, surround yourself with certain people, um, read certain books, right? Uh, Exercise certain beliefs. The more that you put out what you want into the universe, the more you're going to get it. The more the quantum field algorithm rearranges life's circumstances to deliver to you what you want. So if you're busy engaging with conversations and content and uh, TV shows and things that continuously just, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not solidify. It's like self-fulfilling prophecy. That's kind of the root of what I'm looking for. But basically, the more that you engage in content that shows you, that proves to you, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for, that proves to you that all men are bad and all men are cheaters and there's only bad men out there and all the good men are taken, then the more the universal quantum field algorithm is going to line you up with shitty men or shitty people or men who do cheat and men who don't respect you and men who don't take care of you and don't provide for you and don't take you on dates and are taken or already married or whatever, whatever your belief is. But the more that you engage with, you know, happily married friends and taking advice from couples who uh, have been married for 35 years and the more that you watch feel good TV shows around marriage and how it's possible 
to have the relationship of your dreams, then the more the quantum field is going to study you and notice that that's what you are aligning yourself with. That's what you're putting yourself into resonance with. And the more that's going to be delivered. And it's the same thing with business. The more that you think that the Instagram algorithm is going to control every single aspect of your success, the more it actually is going to, because you're going to manifest through the quantum field algorithm, more circumstances where less and less and less and less of your posts or stories or whatever are getting engaged with. And the less that your ideal clients and students are actually going to see your content, the less people enroll into your programs. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's going to prove to you only that which you put out, only that which you believe. And so for me, it was realizing that, you know what? There are so many more ways to grow my business than just Instagram. Yes, Instagram is a big platform for me, but I also have my podcast. I also have word of mouth, which is so powerful. I also, there could be the possibility, and this has happened before, and I know I have done this for people because I'm really good at blowing other people's businesses up. Like someone can shout out, a massive influencer or just a person even without a large following but has a massive influence could post that they're enrolling into, you know, sovereign money. And then hundreds of people sign up because they signed up. And that involved zero posting, zero doing anything on social media on my part. That was just something that I couldn't control because the universal, the quantum field algorithm took care of that for me right? Or as Andrea and I played around with, like it could be just 300 people getting their friend to sign up. And then that becomes 600 new students. Like you just never know, but you cannot limit yourself based off of what you, how you think the algorithm works or how you think things are going to be uh, rearranged and aligned in your universe, in your reality, in your world to give you what you want. The more that you think that you know how it's going to happen, the less and less and less you allow the magic and the miracles to unfold where you're like, oh my God, I couldn't have predicted that. I had a uh, friend of mine who's actually a writer for massive, massive magazine publications mention my name in an article that she submitted recently and actually linked my Instagram in this publication. It was talking about manifestation. I didn't ask her to do this. This is just something that she decided to do on her own. And she asked for my permission, like, hey, is it okay if I mention your name? I can also keep you anonymous and just say, oh, you know, my manifestation coach showed me this or taught me this. And I'm like, no, it's totally fine. You can totally uh, mention me and also thank you so much. And holy shit, I didn't even know that that was a possibility. That's another publication. That's another magazine article where more and more people can find me that has fucking nothing to do with the Instagram algorithm, right? So there are so many possibilities available to us and we have to be really careful with what we put out there. And I don't mean careful as in like become paranoid, but every single thing that we focus on that we give our attention to becomes the magnetic field that we wrap around ourselves with. And that magnetic field is the code. It's the zeros and ones. It's the programming that is being read by the algorithm. We are feeding the ones and the zeros to the algorithm and getting more of what we're putting out there because this is the magnetic field that is being read by the quantum field algorithm. So this conversation was so powerful powerful for me. This metaphor was so powerful for me. It just reframed so much and got me to shift my focus and be like, you know what? My success doesn't depend on Instagram's algorithm. My success depends on what frequency I am vibrating at. And that's all that matters. <laughs> my consciousness is the most important thing to be focusing on and to be shifting and maneuvering and reframing and editing, right? Like editing the software, editing what code is being read by the quantum field algorithm. That's the only thing that matters. That's truly where all of our power needs to go, where our attention needs to go. 
And if you're seeing some shit on your feed, aka your reality that you don't like, then you know that you need to change what you're interacting with. You need to tell the algorithm what to bring more of into your life by interacting with new thoughts, new ideas, new ways of looking at things, new perceptions. The decision that this crappy thing that you're dealing with right now doesn't have to be your reality. It doesn't have to be the bane of your existence. It doesn't have to be the the thing that makes you fall, the thing that makes you fail. This is another opportunity. And the moment you tell the algorithm, no, this is an opportunity, then guess what? It will become an opportunity and you'll manifest more opportunities. The algorithm will say, oh, okay, opportunities. That's what you want. And that's what I will give you. So anyway, that's my episode for today. I hope it was helpful. Um, And yeah, I'm super excited about Sovereign Money. If you haven't yet signed up, you can go to manifestationbabe.com slash SM for Sovereign Money. The link is also in my show notes. And with that being said, I so appreciate all of your podcast reviews and you sharing this episode with your family and friends and loved ones and whoever else you think would benefit from these podcast episodes. I'm glad you've been enjoying money season on the show this month and all the episodes that have to do with money. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for listening and I will catch you in next week's episode. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. If you absolutely loved what you heard today, be sure to share it with me by leaving a review on iTunes so that I can keep the good stuff coming your way. If you aren't already following me on social media, come soak up the extra inspiration on Instagram by following at Manifestation Babe or visiting my website at manifestationbabe.com. I love and adore you so much and can't wait to connect with you in the next episode. In the meantime, go out there and manifest some magic.